Welcome, Collective. Thank you very much for joining me for the Zodiac read. So we'll do uh, the Zodiac signs. I was I was going to do the Earth signs instead of general read, but I thought, ah, let's throw in the water signs too for today. And then tomorrow we'll do all of our fire signs and we'll do all of our air signs too and another general read. So everybody gets a read. Now let's go ahead. We'll start with the tokens. I like doing the tarot tokens and just grabbing one and it says the tone. So we're going to do for Cancer. So let's see what we got going on. Uh, for Cancer, that's who we'll start with. The Emperor. Interesting. So the Emperor coin is what came forward for Cancer. And I'm getting pulled to the fountain deck for this one. I got told ahead of time I'm supposed to use the fountain deck for Cancer. So let's see. So Spirit. What is the message that Cancer needs to hear for the week? And this is going to be kind of like a, a little horoscope or weekly forecast for you guys here. So let's just set the tone for the week. So we have the lover's card was the first to come forward. Eight of coins, death. Hmm. Two of cups, chariot. I see moving on from a connection. That two of cups. It's like it used to be a loving connection. It used to be a loving relationship. But it's like things have changed. I'll actually tell you what I got told. I don't know where this is going. I got told money changed things. It's like money changed the relationship or lack of money or who had money or who did not have money. But I keep getting that money changed things. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody was pissed off that somebody else was making money. And you may still be dealing with this too. Somebody pissed off that somebody's making money and somebody's building for the future. Somebody's getting more confident in themselves. I don't like the King of Swords in this read. I, I tell you, I feel like his energy is... It's kind of like weird and it's on the outside of things. Peering in like spying. It feels like spying, I gotta tell you guys that. I don't know who this King of Swords is to you. He, uh, swords can sometimes represent an air sign, a, um, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. But I just keep getting like buying and doing it real quietly or on the down low spirit can you please bring cancer more clarification on these cards It's like someone's feeling left out. I got to tell you, it's this spying energy. This is the one who's got to be pissed off about somebody making money. And maybe them not making money or it's like a jealousy thing. And they're worried about being left out. They might have their own things going on in their life that are maybe leading them in a not so hot financial situation. I mean, cancer's starting to build and cancer's really built like evolving that's where the confidence is coming when you're starting to make money or building a career and this person is like jealous or worried that you're doing this and they're not and this may have been something that's sort of been deteriorating over time like as your life started getting better and financially things started evening out for you or you were building and finding happiness this person got more and more miserable towards you or kind of like turning on you i gotta tell you this path that you're on the emperor came out a second time and i do get told it's sort of what you're building towards and what you're building in your life so career home all of that um 
as you get more successful, I really hate to say this cancer, but I got to tell you what the cards are saying. As you get more successful, you may lose certain connections and people in your life. It's almost like it's going to piss people off or people are going to get jealous and get all weird on you um, that things are going good. There's going to be maybe more backstabby type of behavior or people just cutting you off. It's like your success, the more, the more successful you get, it's like the fewer people connections you got. Spirit, can you please bring some more for cancer? What does cancer need to know this week? Yeah, I think people got used to maybe, maybe you went through a period of time and it might have been a long period of time where you weren't making a lot of money or you weren't really building a career or you were a little bit slow to, to be able to cer achieve certain things. And so other people felt like, well, they had achieved that. So they kind of, in their minds, elevated themselves above you. But now that you're starting to grow and you're starting to achieve, they, like, they don't like it. They don't like things being even. They don't like thinking that you get ahead of them or you look better than them. I do see you're building towards success over a long period of time. So like the cards aren't saying, you know, there's there's going to be some big crazy thing that happens this week for you. But they are saying that the path that you're on is a very positive path. It's just there will be sacrifices along the way. And this might be part of what you have to deal with this week is maybe one of these energies, this king of swords and the spying might be part of what comes forward this week and something that you're having to deal with or maybe a connection drops off this week somebody who you thought you know you were well connected to and then i keep feeling like kind of like backstabby or turning on you this might be something that you are already going through or something that's going to happen in this next week because we're trying to do a weekly forecast here spirit can you please give a little bit more for cancer and what to expect for the week Drama, conflict, and a choice. Drama, conflict, and a choice. So this person might be going through a pretty big burden of their own. They might be going through a tower. This one who you've been having issues with, or you feel this wedge has been driven between the two of you. They may find themselves in a real bind, and you might have to decide if you're going to help them or not. Because I got choices, choices to make, and it feels like your choice, and it feels like something, a choice that weighs very heavy on you. Spirit, can you please give some more for cancer? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um... So, <laughs> Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Wands. You are getting told um, to set boundaries. So if this person's having financial issues, you are getting told to not give money out. Uh, if this person is looking for a place to stay or to move in, you are getting told not to allow this person to come live in your home. This is going to bring you some burdens. This is going to bring you some drama. You're getting told in this read in for this week, whatever drama comes your way and sob story that somebody brings to you, you need to look after your own self. You need to look after your path. And you need to cut the drama out as much as possible. This person will bring drama. Like you said, because they got a bone to pick with you. It's like the better you do, the more pissed off they get or the more snotty they are, the worse they treat you. So you are getting told to draw those lines really strong in the sand with this person. And they come, like I said, they come around with a sob story or they come around trying to cause drama, trying to whatever. You're, getting, you're getting told to really 
put that boundary up and shut that down. That this is something you need to be aware of for the week. Because you are building in your life. And you are finding more confidence. And maybe you're finding your voice a bit more. And whatever it is you're building towards, you're on your emperor path. So the empress, a lot of times, she's about healing uh, and personal growth. Uh, and sort of finding, uh, building your own wealth or manifesting. And the emperor a lot of times speaks more to like your your confidence and sort of your ambition. He's a lot more, I don't want to say action oriented, but really being the best form of yourself that you can be. This is what you're evolving into. This is part of the path that you're on. And I keep getting like speaking your piece is important here, standing up for yourself vocally. And saying what you need to say to not allow people to, to step on you or take advantage of you or crap on you because they're jealous or they are going through a bad time or they have baggage. No matter who they are and what the connection is to you. It's important this week to stand up for yourself and to not allow the people around you or in your life to treat you like less than because they're jealous of you. That's what the cards are saying. So you got, you got a bit of drama coming this week. Cancer, stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to be assertive. Don't be afraid to keep up this journey that you're on. And to not allow other people's drama in. Card at the bottom of the deck was the Nine of Wands. So this might be some garbage that you've been going through for a long time. So there's some conflict that's been working its way towards... A blow up, maybe even. Uh, it's saying there, there'll be more of it this week. Just keep standing your ground. I keep keep working towards whatever it is you're trying to build, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. And this is career goals, finances. Keep focusing on that. Don't let other people's petty crap come into it. And you don't gotta eat garbage from anybody. That's the most important message that we're getting here. Alrighty, so that cancer, that was for you. Now we're going to go to Scorpio. Scorpio, Ooh, that deck. So we're going to grab a coin for Scorpio. This Scorpio's coin, let's flip it over. Lovers, the lover's coin for Scorpio. I am pulled to this deck over here. So spirit, what does Scorpio need to know for this week? What's the most important message that needs to come forward for Scorpio? What are they dealing with? We got a Queen of Pentacles coming forward. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see a message coming forward with the Page of Wands coming towards Scorpio. Uh... It almost feels like a job offer. I feel like an offering coming forward towards Scorpio. Spirit, can you please clarify some of these other cards that are coming forward for Scorpio? What does this mean for them for the week? Hmm. What is this all about for Scorpio? What's Scorpio going through? offer coming through and it's weird because I feel in the devil card the ten of swords the queen of wands leaving somebody behind this might actually be a co-worker maybe you were like vying for the same position or vying for the same opportunity so I feel like it's somebody who who would have wanted that for themselves but it's like almost like whatever this opportunity is it's a chance to sort of cut ties and move to something new Moving on. Something you've been looking for for a long time or working for for a long time, trying to earn. I feel like everything you've done in the past towards this has, like, contributed. Somebody's been watching that. And somebody's like, okay, you've earned this opportunity. It's time now to hand it over to you. It's time for you to be able to, to move on up. I do feel like it comes with money or like a raise, something like that. 
I see more money coming in from whatever this is. This, I gotta tell you, for some of you, Scorpio, this might actually be a chance for you to move. Like, to physically move to get a new house or, or to move neighborhoods or whatever it is. I feel like there's an opportunity here to actually move to somewhere else and start a new chapter. Yeah, movement, two of wands, chariot. Mm-hmm. Ten of Wands. Now, I get that somebody's going to be angry at you for this opportunity that you get, that perhaps they feel like should have been theirs. That might be where this, this Devil, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands connecting energy is coming from. Somebody who feels like they lost out on the opportunity to you. Spirit, can you please? I keep getting, like, defensive or having to defend for this opportunity that you got this opportunity or somebody making have making you feel like you have to justify how you got this opportunity or that you deserved it. I keep getting told too that whoever's causing you this issue, like if this is like a coworker or something you work with, um, it's almost like you won't have to deal with them for long. Or whoever's been giving you the grief. Well, I mean, heck, maybe it's a neighbor and that's why the cards are talking about moving. But whoever is giving you this grief about this opportunity that comes to you, might even be a roommate, it's like, it gives you an opportunity to just step away from them. To step away from the energy. And like, I keep feeling like, um, go out on your own. Go out on your own. And it doesn't feel just like a job. Like, I tell you, Scorpio, it feels like you're going to be moving houses. Like, you have an opportunity to move somewhere and, and have kind of like a fresh start. Making more money and building through more on your own terms. And leaving some sort of negative energy person behind. You got some negative Nelly around you there who's causing trouble. I feel like at times, it's almost like you needed help. I don't know if you're, it's like you moved in with somebody because you needed to have a roommate because you weren't quite making enough, but this job opportunity actually gives you enough money to go out on your own and have your own place. Because I feel like you needed help at a certain amount of time and then you wound up stuck for it with whoever this person is who's been kind of giving you grief and who's going to, who's going to, have some not nice things to say about this great opportunity that you earned. And you know what? You're leaving this situation and you're moving on to something better. It might affect this person in a negative way. Like maybe they can't. If this is a roommate, I gotta tell you because I keep going back to that. If this is like a roommate or someone, they might not be able to afford to keep the place they're in without having you there. Or they're afraid that um, whatever this connection is, it's like by you taking on this better opportunity and make more money and having your own place and being confident, being happy and really building. It's like they feel like they're going to get left behind or something or you're going to be better than them. So do you feel like this person would like to stop you from taking that opportunity? They see your new opportunity and your good fortune as a tower for them, is what it comes down to. They don't want you to take it. This person does not want you to have that opportunity. They're not going to be happy that you get it. Please give more for Scorpio here. What else does Scorpio need to know for the week? It's like it's going to show this person's true colors too. Because I don't know if you you were okay with this person or you kind of thought that they were like your friend or if this is a romantic partner or someone you thought you got along with. But with this new opportunity coming, it's like you see an ugly side of them. And it sort of makes clear who they really are. 
because I see this opportunity is super positive for you. I see it's a great one. It's one that helps to lead you down a path where you can build for the future, build legacy, build a home, find happiness. It's like, it's the way you're supposed to go. That's why the opportunity is coming to you. I don't think this person's supposed to follow you down that path though. Because they just, I keep getting indications in all the cards that they don't want you to do something that's going to be great for you. They're not happy about it. They're not supportive. That strikes me as somebody who is most likely just going to hold you back on your journey or wants to keep you stuck. Spirit, what else does Scorpio need to know about what's going on this week? I got told that guy. Grab that guy too. You're going to have to do what's right for you when this opportunity comes. So no matter what that means for other people around you, you need to do what's right for you. You see, this opportunity is something that can lead uh, to a beautiful, better place. Something that you've worked really hard for, that you were really wanting, that you're really excited about and you see the potential of. Do what's right for you and look after you. Don't give up opportunities because... Somebody else is threatening to leave or somebody else is trying to emotionally manipulate you or blackmail you uh, or, you know, like just look after yourself. It's important. And if it's somebody who loves you and somebody who cares about you and somebody who supports you, they will celebrate you and they will take the journey with you. Because it is something that's going to lead to an abundant harvest. This is a new chapter for you. This is something you're supposed to celebrate and be happy about. You earned it. And it's great. It's a great opportunity, Scorpio. Like, don't let this person rain on your parade, whoever they are. And make sure you do what's right for you with this opportunity coming around. That's a good one. That's what the cards are saying. This week, you got a great opportunity coming. And it's one that can set you up on a really nice path. And set you up for the future. So you got somebody who's who's trying to steer you away from that. That's somebody who's not looking out for your best interest. That's what the cards are saying for you, Scorpio. That is your read. So congratulations on the opportunity coming your way. You got to look after yourself, you know. There's no point in giving up on opportunities just because, you know, somebody's having a little hiss. And they have their own little baggage and they have their own mental whatever's. I know it sounds really mean, but that's kind of their problem. That's something they got to deal with. If they don't, if it's like a lover and they're worried about being left behind, or why don't they just love you and support you and go with it? It doesn't have to be a competition. Yeah, they're going to be pouting. Uh, the card at the bottom of the deck was the Page of Swords. Somebody's going to be pouting and having a little hiss instead of celebrating you like they should be. It's worth celebrating, Scorpio. Wait, we are going to do... Pisces now. So we're going to grab Pisces a coin. And we'll see. We'll see what it is. So we have the star. The star came out. The star is all about clarity. It's all about hope. Maybe Pisces is looking for some clarity on something. So let's see. What does the star coin mean for Pisces for this week? Oh, oh all those guys. And that one. Just because it poked out. But these are the ones we're going to deal with first. This is, a, this is a whole lot of something happening here. Let's get to it. Well, there's a star card coming out. Oh, a truth comes out this week. And there is a truth comes out about somebody who you've been having a relationship with. I don't know that this is a romantic relationship. This might be family relationship this might be friend relationship this could be something at work but a truth comes out uh, uh -huh. well you got somebody who's been bad mouthing you behind the scenes pisces that's part of the truth that comes out here you got somebody who's been running their mouth uh, trying to run you down. Trying to run you down here. Ace of Cups. I like they don't want you to be happy. They want to... I don't know if this is trying to mess with your job. 
trying to mess with your relationships, like with your person or with your family or with your friends. She's trying to make you look like a bad guy or trying to make you look like you're you're dishonest or you're this or you're that. Mm -hmm. This is what comes out this week. Somebody's been gossiping about you. Acting like they're a friend, but they're not. They're so like fake friendly. I just keep getting from the page of wands like just fake friendly. This might be somebody who I get the six of swords, the seven of wands, which tells me it's like cutting ties or putting up boundaries. So I don't know if this is somebody who you've already done that with, or this is part of what's going to be happening this week as you're going to be kind of cutting somebody off because they're out of line. It's like they're trying to disrupt your family situation or your home situation. They're trying to weasel in there and cause trouble. And break up what you have going on in your home. And keep you from having peace in your home and keep you from having happiness. I'm curious. Spirit, can you please tell us more? What else is going on? With Pisces for this week. What is this all about? What does Pisces need to know? These ones. We're going to look at these guys first. Mm. Protect your home situation. Protect your private business. So everything that's going on in your life. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself because you got a blabber mouth. And it's not just, it's not just the, the nasty gossipy one that comes out. Um, I feel like you got another blabber mouth. One you maybe don't expect to be a blabber mouth. Who you, maybe someone who you actually trust to tell your stuff to and then they go blabbing it to this person and then this person starts running their mouth all nasty. You're getting told... To keep your private life private, Pisces. Yeah, if you want to protect your home, if you want to protect your family, if you want to protect what you're building. It's like, like not talking about it. Five of Pentacles. Where's the Five of Pentacles fit in? Spirit, please tell us more for Pisces. Oh yeah, cold shoulder. I got told cold shoulder. I don't know who's weaseling in trying to act like a friend. Weaseling in looking for information. Uh-uh. You're like, I just can't. Cold shoulder. Don't tell them nothing. Like, starve them out for information. Spirit, can you please tell Pisces a little bit more about what's happening this week? You get a whole big bunch that wanted to come forward. You're going to have to control your emotions too. I get told like, it's not like not let it make you angry, but don't get carried away with your emotions. Just it. And again, coldness. It's like cut whoever this gossipy person is off. Because someone's jealous of what you're trying to build and someone's jealous of your happiness. Somebody's jealous of something that you got going on. It's, it's straight up jealousy. That's why they're doing all the gossiping. They're looking to make trouble. They're looking to try and shoot you down. They're looking to try and ruin what you got going on. And you got someone who's like... I keep getting this fool card like someone who's pretending like they don't know. This might be the one who you were actually trusting and telling you or telling things to who's blabbing it to somebody else. It's like they don't pre they pretend they don't know what they're doing or they pretend they don't know that the other person is really malicious against you. 
Oh, I didn't know. You know, no, you're going to have to be guarded, whoever this one is too, who's pretending that they don't know or pretending like they have, yeah, like they have no idea what they've done or what's going on or that they've been a huge part of it. You're going to have to get guarded with them too, it says. It's like they're, they're running some kind of game. You have to put an end to the game. If you want your nine of pentacles, if you want your happiness, you want to keep building, you want to find success. Tarot saying like part of that is going to be cutting out negative people. Or people who associate with negative people who then cause problems for you. So you're really going to have to I said, keep your private life private. Because this gossip's going to come out. And when this gossip comes out about what's been said, you're going to know who did the gossiping. But then you're also going to have a pretty good sniff of where it all came from. Because I, I get this feeling that the, this gossipy person is not, is not somebody who you share a lot of information with, Pisces. Like, maybe you already have history with them, so there's someone you, you don't talk to a lot, but they're still getting information about you. So where are they getting the information from? Who are you talking to who they're associated with? You're going to have to widen your boundaries. Like, I think you got boundaries with that person, but you're going to have to extend them to other people to keep your private life private, to build for yourself. You don't have to put up with garbage from other people. Don't associate with people who are gossiping about you. Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's like, I, even in the Eight of Cups, I see it like drawing the line in the sand. I mean, like, this is just is what it is. I can't trust you. I can't trust talking to you about my life anymore. Because you go spew it somewhere else to somebody who causes trouble. And you know you're doing it. And don't give me some line that you don't know. And so I ain't talking to you no more. And I ain't telling you nothing. I get told that the only thing that can trip you up in what you're trying to build with all of this all the gossiping and stuff is actually you for, and and for you for you you get really mad at me here let me explain it it's like if you choose to share with someone who you suspect is sharing with someone who's malicious against you that's that's what trips you up and that's why you're getting told um this week you're gonna have to be very mindful about keeping your private like private and not sharing information with people. And perhaps even cutting off people who you know associate with people who are malicious against you. Like really set those boundaries and protect yourself. It, that's what the tarot cards are saying is going to come out for you this week, Pisces. Is there going to be, like I said, there's going to be some gossip that comes out. You're going to find out that somebody's been trash talking you, gossiping about you behind your back. And you're going to be able to trace it back to somebody else as well. That there's another party involved in that too. And you're going to have to keep your cool. Stay as level-headed as you can. But then be real clear about your boundaries. With whoever's participating in the gossip. Whether they, they give you some BS line about... Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know I was... I, I thought it was okay. I didn't think they would... No, they would never do anything like that. Are you sure? You know, Pisces. You know what's up. Don't let people run that, that little pretend game on you either. You know, the star card is that clarity. So set your boundaries where you need to set them. Look after your personal life. Keep your personal information private as much as you can. And keep working towards whatever goal it is you have going on and focusing on your life and your home life. Cut out the negativity. You don't need people like this in your life. They just, they're just drama queens. All they do is cause drama. And they don't, like, they don't care. They don't care. You don't see them apologizing. You don't see them really worried about how it hurts your feelings. They just keep running their mouths. So this is not, you know, these are not people who have earned the right to stay in your life. This is, don't be afraid about setting your boundaries. Stand up for yourself this week, Pisces. Look after yourself. Look after what you're building. Uh, I'll tell you that the line, loose lips sink ships. Keep your private life private. That's the advice that you are getting this week, Pisces. Let's look at the card at the bottom of the deck too. Justice, balance. I just keep seeing truth. Truth comes out and you dishing out the truth too. Like you saying 
dishing it out for what it is, laying it all out there, and being like, I, I know you guys are all talking about me behind my back. I know you're a part of it. Don't pretend like you're not. And I'm not putting up with that anymore. That, that stops right now. And you setting your boundaries. That's what I see in the cards for you, Pisces. And that's why you got the star coin this week. Clarity. Clarity comes forward this week. Alrighty, so that is for the water signs. We will do our all of our fire signs and all of our air signs tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.